Hello, good people of Pepsi Center, and welcome to Hockey Night in Colorado. It's a great day for hockey, isn't it? Yes. It is a full house here tonight at Pepsi Center, standing room only. It's already loud in here. We haven't even started cheering yet. Imagine what happens when your abs take the ice in about 11 minutes and 35 seconds. Tonight, the Loud House is going to be a full house. Springtime means playoffs are here, and it features one of the best rivalries in the NLL. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the broadcast booth alongside the Andy Lindahl. It's playoff time, and Andy, we got ourselves a good one. Calgary and Colorado. Calgary getting here by way of a 14-13 win versus Vancouver last week. Colorado loses to Edmonton, but that's the opponent that waits next week in round number two. Right there, let's do it again. Sorry to interrupt you, Andy. Here's John Grant Jr. Shoots, scores! History has been made! Congratulations to John Grant Jr., now second all time in NLL goal scoring. We're here ahead of the last regular season game with that man, John Grant Jr. Um, did something happen a couple games ago against Rochester here? I don't know. Something big happened? I regrew a few hairs up front. Yeah, that was that's excited. good. That that's was good. Exciting. Good for you. That's yeah, exciting times right here. It is here. for me. It is for me. Uh, in all seriousness, second all time in NLL goal scoring. You went back to the bench and you had the stare right at the field. You just wanted to get going and get back to it. But it has to mean something inside, right? <laughs> not, or does it not? I don't. It just I came to the mammoth and these things keep happening <laughs> and I'm not sure. And I look up and I'm on there. With Andy Lindahl, I'm Connor McGahey here at the touch screen. Andy, it's time to talk about the team for 2015. Well, let's take a look, starting with our forwards at the right offense. The left side strong, but you're a big fan at 23, 26, and 17. Thanks very much, Todd. Andy, key games coming up in 2015. We got to pick earlier. It looked a little something like this. Well, I like the Calgary game. I always like the Calgary game. Everybody I don't know loves what to the tell Calgary you. That's game. always such a key Rivalry, matchup. opening night. Yep. And when you're talking about a game at home, got to have that one. Uh, I'm going to go with a similar thing. No love lost on the day before Valentine's Day. The Edmonton Rush come to town. And interesting enough, last four games of the season are home and homes with both Rochester and Edmonton. Speaking of consistency, a lot of the guys are back, including Adam Jones. Just talk about the core being back this year, Connor, and how that's going to help them. Well, like Junior said in the interview, it's really been something that the core is getting older now. But we have young improvements to an older core and Adam Jones it's hard to think of him as an older player but both the right and left sides of attack are really good on this team. Thanks very much Richard here with Stephen Betisher. Stephen uh, welcome to Colorado. Uh, you're back in the lineup against Seattle last game after missing to back in at right back tonight. Uh, how's it feel? Yeah I mean it's great to be back you know. Anytime. You're considered one of the leaders on this team. You have World Cup experience obviously with Iran. Um, what do you bring to a team when you have so many games in so many days and and how do you lead the young guys? Yeah, it's just it's one of those things where we're blessed to be in a position where we're playing. Wayline now with the fourth official, little tap on the shoulder, Conor McGahey. Yeah, Richard, so we see the two coaches talking. They hugged once before the game talking. Now, we were talking about Mauro Rosales. He was actually listed as doubtful for this game. He walked off the bus today very gingerly, almost limped into the locker room, so it was almost a surprise to see him in the starting lineup for this game. We hope that he's okay, but a fair challenge, as Cello pointed out on that one, just a... Matter of size, I think, there at midfield. Back to you.